Hi guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here for the 25th annual Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation event, where we're going to be talking to a ton of celebs who are here to support the cause. Hi, how are Hi, you? How are you? I'm Quinn, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like your shirt. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so let's talk about the, the foundation, what brings you out today to support you. I've been a part of Elizabeth Glazer going back to the very beginning of Survivor okay. in, in the year, I think it was 2000, the first time I came. Okay. And awesome. it's near, near and dear to my heart because of that. And the thing that, that I keep trying to tell people is there's this idea that we've taken care of HIV. We got it. There's drugs you can, but it's not really the truth. There are still yeah. kids, six, seven hundred kids every day that are being infected with HIV all over the yeah. world. It's a lot of kids. Definitely. And so we're just trying to keep awareness. And it's hard because there's so many things happening. There's Ebola right now. There's exactly, this happening. Yeah. There's tsunamis. Yeah. But you still have to find a way to help all of them. Yeah, that's true. How did you um, get involved in this in the first place? This, be this became our event for Survivor because we were in Africa okay. shooting Survivor. And Mark Burnett said, let's start an organization. And I said, I know one that's already up. Why don't we team with them? So for many, many years, we donated proceeds from an auction we did to Elizabeth Glazer and raised several million dollars. So we're, I very much feel connected to this group. Yeah, and being, a, being uh, involved with the foundation for so long, you've seen like what it's done. You've seen the help it's given. Like, how does oh. it feel to like... Watch it, it evolve. Yeah, it's tremendous to yeah. watch it evolve yeah. because 10 or 15 years ago, this was a very different story. Exactly. And now the number of kids getting infected is dropping, but it's still at 700. And if that's one of your kids, oh, it's really important. Yeah, definitely. So let's talk about Survivor yeah. real quick. What do you think makes the show, I mean, we're going on the 30th season in 2015. What, what do you think makes the show so watchable? People, you have like diehard fans. Yeah. Seasons. That's like unprecedented. Yeah, Survivor's run is pretty crazy. I think it's a combination of things. It's a really good format. Just the notion of taking a group of strangers and dumping them and say, figure it out, is a good idea. It's executed really well. And I really think one of the differences in our show, Lasting and Others, uh -huh. is that we do feel connected to the audience. When we're out making Survivor, I'm thinking all the time, what is our audience going to think about yeah. this? So we're never trying to get new audience members, we're trying to keep the ones that like our show. Very smart, very smart. And it also has an awesome host. Yeah, I think, I didn't want to say it, but thank you. <laughs> Can you tell us anything about the 30th season? Nothing on the 30th. We're, our 29th is airing right now, so that's the one we're focusing on, and then we'll we'll release what we're doing in 30. But it's, it's very different, and it's very fun. I liked it. That's awesome. Um, do you think, I mean, how long do you think the show will go on for? I have no Ever? idea. I really have no idea. I think anyone in television knows that you wake up every morning and you look at the ratings and you go, okay, we're still alive this week. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Nice to nice talk to, to you. Have you. a good day. You too. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite cause.